Alright, time to bleed. Oh! Yep. Another day in the trenches. I should put that on the shirt. Just for me though. Don't sell it to anyone. Just, just for me. Ah, yeah, I'm just watching the garage door open. Thank God. For heated garages. If I didn't get to park in a heated garage, I don't know if I'd do these car ride talks. Because I walk all the way around and I, you know, I just kind of set up the camera and whatnot. And I'll get over here and kind of, you know, get myself all ready. And then we'll record the, the car ride talk. But yeah, if I had to set it up outside, I don't know if I'd do it every single day. I probably would, you know. I'm not one for quitting, but yeah, let's, uh, let's cue up the song here to get us hyped up for a beautiful Tuesday morning training. Bitch, I'm gonna party like Chris Barrett. Alright, we are up to the gym here for a beautiful, beautiful first training. Alright, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. Alright, car ride talk today. It's gonna be like, it's like kind of about God, cause uh, I wanna answer one of these comments. So, um, back when I did video 137 where I got you guys to comment John 137. Someone was commenting saying, okay, since I had to, you know, comment John 137, I want to, I want you to go watch this person. I can't remember his name, uh, but it was someone that's like against God, which is fine. I don't really care. I'm not out here trying to like force other people to, you know, be religious or anything. I just like to talk about it sometimes because I'm a believer in it. But this person that was against God or just not a believer in it, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't watch like a million of his videos, so I don't fully understand the person, so I can't say I fully understand him. But what I got from the gist of his videos is that it seems like he really focuses on all the bad things and doesn't see the good that comes out of all the bad things, which is just kind of like a generally bad mindset to have just in life. He seems like a, I don't know, a fine person. I don't, I don't fucking know him. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to try and talk him up. But anytime he was like talking about God, and I'm going to get to a point with all this, okay? Anytime he was kind of like talking about God, and Jesus, and whatever, he was saying how, well, why would this God make it so that there's bad things that happen to people, and that some people like have these greater things, and these other people have like shit going on in their life and whatever. And that just leads me to one question, which can be pretty easily answered. If no one had tough times, then it wouldn't make the good times feel better. For example, like me training like this, this aggressively, it's for one big end goal. It's just a huge lead up to one big happy ending. But if there was no shitty times, if I was able to just be like, oh, I wanna do gymnastics and go to the Olympics, and then they're like, okay, here, we'll just send you to the Olympics. It, would, it wouldn't really mean anything at all to anyone or me if everything was just equal. So for no one to ever have bad times, for God to never put you through tough times for you to learn and improve from them and enjoy the happier times even more. If everyone was just equal, the same, same mindset, same goals, same everything, nothing would be achieved in this world because it takes some people doing more to make you want to do more. Maybe it'll make other people feel sad about themselves and whatnot, but if everyone was the exact same, like just had the same motivation, same, like everyone was so equal that there was never any arguing or anything, like it would be a very peaceful world and whatever, but there wouldn't be any great achievements upon like iPhones and TVs and all that stuff because if everyone just had the same mind, then no one would ever figure that type of stuff out. Everyone would just be equal. I'm not, I'm not a great talker with fully speaking my mind but you know I'm I think I'm getting my point across pretty well here that if everyone was just the same nothing nothing would really end up being happy and yeah the guy in the video that I was watching that was kind of talking about God was saying like one of the big things that I saw in like clips was him just continuously saying well why would a God make all these bad things happen and that's that's why it's to test you it's to test you know your spirit and whatnot to like see what really matters to you in this world it's really test you so I feel like by the time you're at that old wise age you're able to say that you learnt you know you learnt a lot and you're able to say that you're pretty happy with your life even with all the bad things it made the good things just so much better but to be fair it's been like a week since I watched that guy's uh, videos so that was just the main thing I noticed was that you know I'm very good at reading people 
their their mindsets and how they truly view what they're trying to achieve in their lives. And I could just instantly see within two minutes of watching that guy that it was just a very victim type of mindset that he had. Because all he was talking about was all the all the bad types of things. Now I can't say I like fully know the guy because I only watched a few clips of him and I never got to really talk to him in person. So I don't want to speak on his behalf saying that that is who he is. But it just seemed really big into just looking at the the negatives of religion and all that and another thing you would say is uh, that everyone uh, that's religious is always forcing their religion on other people which I feel like it just seems that way because the niche few people that force it really force it it's like I don't know, it's like when you see some vegan people they're like oh every vegan super vegan but it's not it's just like a few of the vegans are really aggressive with being vegan and that's okay like you're just very passionate about what you believe in and that is a good thing. Just like how some people are very passionate about religion. So that's why it seems like every religious person is very aggressively forcing on everyone, but they're not. Like every time I talk about it, I always try to, you know, let you guys know I'm talking about it. I'm not trying to force it on anyone. Sometimes just, you know, I just want to talk about it. Yeah, the main point I want to get across there is do not have that victim mindset. I have talked about it before in other videos, you know. Try and look for all the positives and things. I literally talked about it like, I think it was last week, I don't know. You know these vlogs all just kind of fall into each other for me. Just one big day of a hundred and some days. But yeah, just try and look for all the positives and things, right? Okay? That's kind of the other thing that I like about religion is in the Bible and stuff, it always talks about just being a positive person. It's literally, a, I think it's pretty, probably a pretty well-known quote that says like, love your enemy, like, that's why I don't hate anyone. But yeah, okay. That's it for the car I talk, positive mindset. Look for the positives and everything. We're at the gym, the red zone, the dead zone, the kill zone, the war zone. I should put that on a shirt as well. Okay, I gotta, I gotta figure out how to make the shirts before I, before I keep talking about this. Enough. Let's get to work, shall we? All right. Handstand conditioning. Three pirouettes, my good way, three my bad way. Forward and reverse. Oh shit, there we go. Hi, reverse pirouettes. One bar swing down in sense. Japanese handstand. Uh, oh, I don't have my foot hook thing. <laughs> oh, right. We're gonna do handstand on these rings. I'm gonna lower them, but like handstand. We were doing it on the real rings before, and doing a muscle up. So just going from here up hurt so much on my shoulder. So. We're just gonna put the rings at like this height so I can just kick up the handstand without doing the muscle up. Two, three, four, five, six. I can't do seven anymore because for some reason it's so low to the ground now. It used to be like this high above the ground. Now it's like an inch. So my fingers end up touching. So we'll just do whatever that is. Oh. Fun. Hi, handstand on the floor. Oh, damn it. Alright, five presses. Three have to be held. Damn it. Damn it. 
Fucking Fuck. It's just supposed to be quick. Fuck. Hey, okay, one more. Fun, that was fun. All right, time for the new sit-ups. Well, the sit-ups aren't new, but adding it into the morning training is new. 30 each way. Uh, fun, so much fun. Squat jumps and then kneeling walks forward and backward. Oh, done. Deep burn. Deep burn. Feels amazing. All right. Let's go to vault now. Okay, time for vault. Since we did two and a half yesterday, we don't have to do them today because uh, we were supposed to do them today only if we really didn't do them yesterday. But I ended up doing them yesterday, so uh, if I end up doing them, if it ends up feeling good, I'll do them today as well. And my like my new rule is like I'm not allowed to only do it if it feels amazing. I'm gonna do the two and a halfs any day where it feels relatively good enough to go for it, so I can start building a habit of doing it. Like yesterday, it felt it felt all right, so I went for it. It's pretty confident I wasn't gonna land it because my power and heel drive just wasn't how it normally is. Hopefully today feels good and I'm able to land one. The mat level is actually like this much lower than normal, like a mat length lower than normal. So I think if it feels good, I should be able to land some nice ones. But yeah, we'll do some handsprings, a few folds, a few double twists. You know, just anytime the full feels good, we'll move up. Once the double twist feels good, we'll move up. All right, so handspring number one. Deadly. All right, hand spring number two. Oh yeah, good stuff. All right, now for the full twist. Deadly. All right, full twist number one. Oh, I flipped so fast, that was awesome. All right, time for the double twist now, because that full was really good, so double twist number one. Oh yeah, we're just killing it today. Yeah, watch the back. The heel drive, it's a little bit better than yesterday, than yesterday, than yesterday. Cause yesterday I did this one, and then the second one, I did that, but then closed. That one I kind of did this, and then I closed a bit, but I stayed open, just a little bit more. Like my good one yesterday, I went open, and then I closed it, and then I opened it. This one I kind of closed it, but I didn't close it, like let's say yesterday I closed it this much, Today I only closed like this much, so I didn't kill it as much. But the the power itself of it didn't seem as powerful, so that's kind of why the rotation wasn't like as intense as yesterday. But the heel drive and the way the skill was done was correctly just needs more power in general. Today, yesterday was okay actually. Somehow on Monday the power was good, but the technique was wrong. Today the technique's pretty good, but the power is not quite it. But I can feel it getting more powerful as I'm getting like more each turn, like more warmed up kind of so we're gonna go for two and a half now uh, if we we're gonna try one two maybe three two and a half if i like land this first one we'll finish on a good note there and be done with that but do some two and a half now see how they go just need more heel drive two and a half number one 
the iron. Closed really hard on that one. We're gonna do another two and a half. I gotta fix my heel drive though. Cause the other ones I had the heel drive and then I closed a bit. That one, I did a heel drive a little, then I closed a lot and then it killed all my rotation. So I gotta keep driving my heels like the one I did on uh, Friday where I over rotated. So yeah, two and a half, number two. That was a lot better, everything was better. Just my arms on the table were a bit lower than normal. It was good though. And yeah, we're gonna finish on that one. It was good, didn't land it, but it was good. Our bet, it's not good, but it's a lot better. Like we're improving pretty quickly with this skill. Gotta admit that, you know, usually skills come a bit slower. I guess vault technically, it's just like one thing that you just get better at. So I guess it did take a while to like get to this point, but now it's, it's coming along relatively quick to get that next half twist, which is, Nice. Yeah, we'll finish on that two and a half there. I want to have it kind of ready by Grizzly competition Calgary next week. I don't think that's going to happen. It would just be nice to, you know, compete it there as like a practice comp, competing it for the first time. But the main goal is to have that ready by Nationals. That's the goal. It adds four tenths to the vault. So uh, double twist is worth 4.8. Two and a half is worth 5.2. Seems silly. You know, this much extra work to just get another half twist and four tenths seems, I don't know wild but yeah good vault session not bad not bad at all my uh, legs are getting a little bit sore and we got floor in the afternoon so i don't want to push too many more turns because we still got vault again on thursday and friday so let's do lineups real quick and we'll be done first train all right one stick of everything and then we're good oh yeah one more new rule i want to make with myself i want to say it to the camera so it's brought to life you know so i can make it true my landings i've been doing this with my arms which i also do on the floor so the whole point of these landings is to help with my landings on the floor and if i'm just going to do the same thing on both things it doesn't really fix anything so the new rule is when i do my landings i have to do it super nice like i just did the hardest skill in the world and i stuck it perfectly and i'm so happy with it even though it's just a back tuck i got it fix my arms like that, landing nicely, keeping my chest up, building good habits, not keeping my old shitty ones, okay? So I'm gonna try my best to remember this every time I do landings, but yeah, one save everything. One and a half, it's hard, it's hard to do that. All right, deadly. That's, that's it, that's all folks for first training. See you guys in second training. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to second training. Again, starting on floor here, of course. Of course, that's how we always start a second training. Uh, since we did all my floor stuff yesterday, today's goal is to hopefully do my skills that I usually do. If not, that's fine. The main goal is to work the two and a half punch and layout punch double twist. I still haven't decided if I wanna do layout punch double twist or double twist punch front tuck half and then do two and a half punch front layout. Either way, I want a layout punch. So I get two tenths for the layout plus an extra tenth for the connection bonus. The main goal for the double Double twist punch front tuck half is just so I can always stick the landing. But I'm more, I'm more focused on getting a two and a half punch layout. So yeah, let's warm up. Let's get started.
Oh, compete that. Gold medal. Let's go. Oh, yeah, that was an absolutely fucking solid routine. <laughs> All I missed was uh, back two and a half. But we're gonna work the back two and a half punch now. Yeah, hopefully this goes how it's going in my head. I have too much power. All right, that two and a half was actually good enough to punch out of, but still a bit too much rotation. The ones I was doing on Friday had way too much rotation out of the two and a half. I just gotta figure out how to punch less so I can actually connect the skills. We're gonna try like two more. All right, that one was better. I slowed down my run like aggressively, so. All right, we're actually gonna finish on that uh, two and a half. I didn't want to punch out of any of them because my legs are really sore. So I feel like that's kind of a little bit dangerous, you know, to do two and a half and then punch out of it with sore legs. But uh, the floor session, that routine I did and everything was super good. So yeah, I'm happy with floor. We're gonna finish there and it's good stuff. All right, let's go to the next event, whatever that shall be. Probably P-bars. I feel like the next clip you're gonna see is me at the P-bars saying we're about to start P-bars, so. Yeah, solid floor session though, really good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to P-Bars, obviously. Kinda looks crooked. Let's fix that real quick, real quick, real quick. There, yeah, there we go. Now you're no longer crooked, you're welcome. All right, so we're gonna warm up, hopefully do a routine. As long as my hand doesn't feel dumb, sore, like it did the other day. But yeah, let's warm up, let's get started. Golly. Yeah, the palm still hurts. All right, so my palm still, whatever's going on with it, broken, sore, bruised, still hurts. So we're just gonna go for the routine again like we did yesterday. The support stuff's warmed up. The hang stuff isn't really warmed up, so same deal. If I mess it up really bad, we'll restart. If I mess it up a little, we'll just keep going, because hang hurts a lot. Support stuff doesn't hurt too much, so just one routine. So uh, routine number one. That's just coincidentally a rip. The bruise is like here. I just got ripped coincidentally right there. But yeah, that's awesome. The hang part was really good. That was the part I didn't care much for. Sits was good, homino was bad. I fucked up my cast. So I was sideways like this before I did the homino. So then I caught sideways like this. Instead of catching the homino straight, my arms were like that. So I had to bail out because my hands were on it correctly. They were kind of like off-centered, so I would have just broken all my fingers if I stayed on. So this one was good, damn was good, one and a quarter was good. Dismount sucks, to redid it, stuck it, but yeah, it's okay. It's not what I'm looking for, but it's okay. Uh, and, uh, I don't care for the blood. Uh, I just don't wanna get it on the P-bars. That's my main concern. I'm not really worried about the pain of the sting or anything. It's more about getting blood all over the P-bars, so if I'm unable to wash it up, I guess we're done P-bars. All in all, P-bars wasn't too bad, just fucked up a few skills. I also like to clarify to people when uh, you hear me swearing or anything like this, they're standing right there, they can't hear me. This mic is very good, it catches just my voice. None of them can hear really what I'm saying unless they're standing right in front of me. Even then, they can't really hear me. Like, I'm saying all these words, they can't hear the thing I'm saying, so. Just know if you're a parent and you hear me like swearing to the camera, 
literally just the camera can hear me. Unless the kid's standing like right here, no one can hear me. They know I'm talking, but they just can't hear the words I'm saying. All right, we're actually just gonna go to Palm. I realized uh, I'm gonna end up doing P-Bars tomorrow and I'm gonna end up doing all my sports stuff tomorrow, plus the dismount. That's what I was about to work with, just my sports stuff and dismount, but uh, I'm gonna do it tomorrow, so let's just save it till tomorrow so I don't have to get blood all over the bars. Maybe I can heal it up, hopefully a little bit before tomorrow. But yeah, it's good palm with three palm routines and uh, yeah, good stuff. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, one turn for warm up. Deadly, let's just go for the routine now, shall we? Palm routine number one. Me. Just a killer. All right, first ball routine. Not bad, pretty good. Oh my gosh. I just changed the battery and I put an old battery in. Okay, I'm gonna have to change the battery again. Like, uh, next clip is just me going for my uh, second ball routine. Two. One more. All right. Palm routine number three. Let's go. Three, let's go. Fuck yeah, those are all so clean too. I'm oh, just on it. All right, let's go to the high bar. All right, time for high bar. Let's warm up, let's get started. Okay, Marco needs the high bar, so we're gonna do cold turkey routine. It was his choice, he said it. He did say it. Guys, <laughs> Cold turkey. I say it's like 1.30 or 2 on Wednesday, on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Getting consistent. It's getting there. I just need to finish the twist. We got a deadly connection. All right, last turn. We're just gonna do all my uh, all my in-bar stuff. So it's two poles, two paths, all their quads dismount. The the easier stuff. Uh, 
bad, bad turn. Okay, we're gonna do one more set of that because that set was very, only like one, this two path was good, that was it, so we're gonna have to redo it. Go for a uh, team with Kovacs Coleman. I throw that, but I missed the Gaylord. Gonna go Coleman Quas dismount. Done. We'll finish there. There, that was all right. We're just gonna finish on that. I burnt, all in all, was not bad. A little, a little bitchy that I was gonna just finish on a nice stoop full, stoop half cross, all that, you know, a little thing, and then it all sucked. So uh, I get mad because I, I know I'm gonna punish myself and make myself do more turns because if you, uh, it's kind of how I always improve. Train my mind. You do a bad turn, I have to do two more turns. Do another bad turn, you have to do two more turns again. So I did a bad turn for my last turn. I do two more, I do more. I kept fucking up, that's why I was getting mad. But yeah, that was not bad. Let's get a high risk mission. Hey guys, we're gonna get Evan to spot me. You ready? You can spot me, you got it. I believe in you. Okay. Stand over here, and then hold my feet up. Ready? Okay, that's good. Ah. See, he told you you could do it. Thanks. Bro, when I got Evan to spot, that's because there's literally no one left in the gym. He's the only other competitive gymnast here at the moment. It's like almost seven o'clock. Doing six events every day is absolutely ferocious. Okay, I'm barely doing rings. I'm just doing three sets of strength. Let's do two more sets. We're gonna just do no spot now because Evan's busy. Just jump to Strau Planche. Seven. <laughs> Fun. It actually doesn't hurt as much as it did yesterday. So my theory, my theory is right. I'm hoping my theory continues to be right throughout the week. But like doing the planche did not hurt as much as yesterday, which is nice. But yesterday was like hell. Today it's just like it's like just putting my legs in hell, you know, instead of having my body fully submerged. Alright you guys, instead of my third set of ring strength, we're gonna do 20 legless. And then I get to go in a treasure box. Yeah. What should I pick? Oh, you should pick. Um, you guys all have to agree on okay, what I should, should have. Do this that one, the bracelet. Yeah. Yeah, bracelet. Yeah, bracelet. Okay, I'll do the bracelet. Perfect. One, two, high five. High five. High five. <laughs> high five. Nice. <laughs> all right. Got a new bracelet for my 20 leg lifts. Sweet. And yeah, we're gonna use that as uh, instead of the third set of ring strength. I want to do more actual rings tomorrow, so I didn't want to do too much today. So that's why I jokingly did that instead of the third set of ring strength. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. It was a great day, good train. Did all six events today. If you watch full video, enjoy. Glad you're there. If you watch full video, comment the word word of the day. Word of the day. Sleep. Sleep. S L E E P. Sleep. All right. Bye. I love you. Bye.